Hey, it's JC1424 once again with June 2020's monthly music episode. Keep in mind, I don't care if you don't like what I listen to, and you shouldn't care if I don't like what you listen to. And Red Sun Rising is not back. Number five, Black Lipstick by Powerman5000. You left black lipstick Black lipstick on my sheets once again, my girlfriend and I, we saw this band live last summer, and it was just amazing. It was my first time going to see a live performance, and I was very satisfied. It was a very fun night. Got my Power Men 5000 uh, live performance uh, merchandise and shirt with the yellow logo on it and everything. And um, I haven't seen another band live since then. There's a few that I've wanted to, but I'm not filthy stinking rich. And there are bands not even playing live anymore right now. But they have a new album coming out this August, and I'm looking forward to that. I have been for a while. I remember getting New Wave when it came out back in 2017. But I've got to say, this song, it's not as strong as previous lead singles were, in my opinion. It's not very energetic, and the guitar is a bit pulled back. It, but it is a bit of a, a slow burn, that's for sure. Number four is All These Years by Static X. Despite the loss of Wayne Static's life, his last jams with the band have finally surfaced, and they still have that same new metal sound from, like, 2003, while also coming off refreshing. The angst, percussion, and the effects within and around the instruments, they just crush it. At number three, we have Fly on the Wall by The Violent. What if it hurts you when it's so bad, you can't take it. What if it makes you feel more alone? Red Sun Rising was like a taco, a real masterpiece. But this band is also a taco. They've got the same shell, and meat, and cheese, and seasoning. But there's just a little bit less of that beef in there. The guitar is less prevalent on this song. And I, I guess that makes the taste of everything in said taco more clear. You know, you can notice everything a little bit more without all the beef taking over. But... I love beef! And I have a really strong attention span, so... <clears throat> Still heartbroken. Number two is The Shift by Ten Years. Awareness of an artist really shows when they can release music describing society's behavior before it even happens. And this song is indeed an exposure to the fact that it's all become quite predictable. It has a more visceral sound than anything from their 2017 album, but I must add, it is a bit repetitious without that actual finesse in there. And at number one, I have Atlas Falls by Shinedown. Don't give up now. If I were to pick a song recently released that truly portrays how I feel about this world, this country, as chaos and confusion have been all that this year has brought, this would be the one. It turns pain into beauty and asks for us to have hope. Bring peace. Stop injustice. Thanks for watching this monthly music vid and episode over.